Uh, first of all, thank you all for, uh, for coming. Um, today is quite an exciting day for Variety, and uh, um, what we're here to announce is that uh, the two sides in future, over the next three years, will be claimed for the Variety Showdown Shield, uh, which is very exciting for us as a whole range of other, you know, the agreement's pretty wide. For the clubs, what it will mean is they can expand the programs that are currently running for kids are very successful programs, they're well set up, and they're achieving a lot. So Variety will be putting money in to expand those programs. Uh, what it will also do for Variety is that uh, we do fund other not-for-profits and charities for some of the programs they run. Uh, we've looked at the programs that, uh, that Port and the other football club run, and they really tick the boxes for us as to who's helped out by that. Currently, we help about 33,000 kids a year. This will mean an extra 2,200 plus uh, that will receive assistance out of the variety through the, uh, through the two clubs. Um, for variety, it's also an opportunity to increase the, the awareness of the brand. Um, research has shown us that variety is well known in name. Uh, it's also a name that's trusted, but the issue is that there's a lot of people out there who don't understand what we actually do. So for us, it's a real opportunity to build on that. And I really like to thank the two clubs that the spirit in which this has been done, uh, they're basically giving up a commercial product to actually help kids. And that I think that show, can't be lost. I think that uh, the two clubs have been doing a terrific job in the community, probably don't get the credit that they deserve for it. This will help expand that and uh, we'll see a lot of uh, young South Australians receive a, a, a leg up. So, yeah, no, look, uh, look, from our, our point of view, um, we're, we're just absolutely thrilled to be involved with uh, an organisation like Variety. I think it's a great leadership initiative uh, from, from the organisation. Um, you know, we are, uh, as, as Rob said, very active in the, in the community space, both, both clubs are. And, um, for us, it's all about um, our ability to um, provide meaningful services um, and opportunities for disadvantaged kids, predominantly. Um, and this is another opportunity to expand, help us to expand our program. At the same time, probably do what we do best uh, as, as food clubs is uh, we're able to put a spotlight on the fantastic, wide and varied and great work that Variety does um, at two pivotal times in the season, which we in the, in the lead up and in the exit of uh, you know, two pretty big games on the calendar. So we're thrilled to be involved. In. Thank you for the opportunity. And similarly, um, Without wanting to sort of repeat all the same messages, but uh, obviously they sit you know, very aligned you know, to what we do with the Adelaide Football Club. I think what's great is we've got three organisations that work in a similar space who've managed to find a way to come together you know, in um, a unique way to to, to amplify um, great messages uh, and to you know, bring attention to programs that do you know, positively impact on the lives of of uh, young children in our state. So you know, we're really proud to be a part of it. Um, it's, it's good to be sitting here you know, with our Crosstown rivals. We're rivals on field, but when it comes to the work that we do in the community, um, we're absolutely aligned, and that's to, you know, to give back and to try and to improve the lives of those who are less fortunate. And great to be able to doing that in partnership with an organisation as, um, as impactful um, as, uh, as Variety. Well, I might just add to that uh your indigenous programs that were very attractive to us. Uh, it's an area which we'd like to sort of give more, more assistance. So uh, that also is a real plus for us, ticks an extra box. So uh, we're, we're excited about that yeah, as well. That's certainly you know, one of the benefits for us is it, it will enable us to, um, to amplify, augment um, the work that we do you know, through the McLeod Centre of Excellence with our Indigenous Youth Leadership Program and our Ready Set Pro Program. And, um, and it's anything that we can do to, to deliver uh, more programs to more kids, um, or the same programs to more kids, is it isn't positive. So you know, certainly a, a core aspect of the program. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, the CEO Mark McGill was telling us that uh, you know the plan is to um, to drive um, the variety of programs and, and, and up, up, <coughs> up into the APY lands and up through remote regions um, of South Australia and. Uh, yeah, that's been a high priority for, for both clubs, I know Andrew and uh, Gavin are involved in that. Um, and it, it 
the alignment is fantastic. You know, that's the, that's really the the thing that makes this work is that um, we're all on the same page, and you just can't underestimate um, the power of the showdown moment um, in this town. Everyone understands it. But the fact that we'll be able to, on those two big occasions each year, talk about something so significant, um, I think, uh, just adds adds another level um, to how important those games are. And this, before the second showdown of the year, there'll be a, uh, a variety showdown lunch, uh, which uh, basically helps us revenue-wise as well with that. And I think the clubs will support them actually put into that as well through uh, giving us the rights to it, but also sort of uh, uh, some of the other leg apps as far as product and what it goes to uh, for options and whatever. So any questions? So does this mean a new trophy or is it a showdown shield? It's a showdown, it's a variety of showdown shield, so it will be a new trophy. Nice to see for the football clubs. Nice to be able to take that home and start breaking like old showdown. <laughs> Well, it's uh, currently being designed, apparently. Um, you know, it's in the safe hands of a variety of the... I'm sure it'll be pretty impressive. And how did this all come about? Who approached you first up? Well, I think uh, Mark started the, the CEO started the conversation, direct, that received terrific cooperation, and it's been, it's been remarkably smooth sort of sailing through, because I think all three sort of saw it as a win-win, uh, an opportunity to come together do something which is terrific for the community. Um, and um, yeah, it's sort of, it's come together really well. Yeah, and it, credit to, to Mark and to Rob, and to Rob because it, it's a unique way of bringing together people to uh, I think deliver a, uh, a message that's more powerful than what we do sort of individually, that what we do individually will continue to, to roll out. And, um, you know, and everyone, I think you read the press release, it's nothing too much more powerful than ready to go. $53 million in grants that Variety has provided to organisations over the last 30 years. And, um, but to, to join forces uh, with the three um, in the way in which we can bring that to life um, to make the next 30 years just as prosperous, you know, starting with the next three, uh, I reckon it's a really creative um, you know, initiative and you know, we'll credit to Variety for bringing it to us. Yeah. Aside from the shield and the luncheon that you mentioned, Anything different that we see on Yando through this new partnership on the showdown Yandos? No, I don't. I think that, um, that all of those, how, how you bring it to life now is back into the, into the process and our creative teams will do that. Um, we've got the infrastructure, you know, the, the platform to do it now and uh, you know, the, these games provide any number of opportunities to bring, bring the whole thing to life and so I'm, I'm sure that uh, you know, it'll be pretty Special. Yeah, it'll be about sending the crowd home with a better idea about what, what variety actually do. Yeah. Yeah, so they can do.